Okay, today I'm going to show you how to replace the ice maker in a Gen Air French door refrigerator with a bottom freezer. This particular refrigerator is model number JFC2290 VTB3. And when you open the freezer door, the ice maker is right here. And once you know what to do, it's actually pretty straightforward. The first steps you want to do is go inside the refrigerator and locate the cooling on off button. And you're going to press and hold that until it lights up. And that's going to turn off the cooling to the freezer as well as the refrigerator so that it's not just blowing out a lot of cold air and creating a lot of condensation as you're doing the work down in the freezer. Okay, the replacement part for this particular freezer is W10377152 ice maker. And this should be everything you need to replace the actual operating unit. Okay, when you open the box, you'll see the ice maker strapped into a cardboard frame rather than a bunch of packing material, which I find very nice. And you're just going to pull it out and cut it loose. Tools for this job should be able to be completed with nothing more than one quarter inch nut driver. That's it. Pretty simple and straightforward. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is loosen these quarter inch nuts on the front of the refrigerator door. These are just slots that these screws sit in. So you don't need to remove them completely. Okay, then you're just going to lift the door up. And set it to the side. Next, you're going to want to remove this bin just to get it out of the way. Same with these racks. This one just lifts up. Pull the ice drawer out, and you're going to push these little buttons on the side. And once they're pushed in, you should be able to push that back in and remove it. Once you're inside, you're going to see two nuts on the bottom. One, let's see, there in the center of the screen is a lot of focus. And then one towards the back. You're going to, to release the wiring harness, you're going to push down on this tab and release it. Then you're going to pull this off and release that. And that's it. Okay, you're going to need to remove this. And pay attention, this is in the actual bottom hole here. Release that. And you're just going to reinsert it on the new one. And back into the bottom hole. Okay, now you're just going to plug it back in. Reconnect it. This piece went in here. And this hooked up here. The model is a little bit different and you've got to make sure that this tube sits inside of that basket. It's going to want to push behind it if you're not paying attention. Next, replace the two screws. Next, 
line up your drawer, and slide it back in. Make sure it slides smoothly. Put your basket drawer back in. Next, we're gonna put the door back on. Again, the screws are already in place and you're just gonna line them up. And this is the one part that's really nice to have an extra set of hands. Once it's in, go ahead and tighten up the four screws. Spin back in free of condensation so that when your new ice starts, it won't freeze to the ice spin. Last step is to make sure you're cooling again. Okay, it's been a couple hours since I put the ice maker in. Let's see. Yep, it's making ice. Looks like it's been through maybe one or two cycles.